David Liguori with Liguori Drag Racing here. I wanted to do a quick video about adding your time slip information to your fuel tech data log. As you can see here on the screen, shows the 60 foot time, 330 time, eighth mile time. And doing so, if you send your log information to your tuner or to me or whatever, it really, really helps knowing what your time is that way if you send us logs throughout the day we know that we are progressing in the right direction uh, for what you want to achieve or we know if we're going backwards and we can also line things up according to time-based things such as nitrous or boost and everything according to where the time slip is and it really makes it uh, a lot easier for me than asking for a picture of your time slip. If you can put your log information in on that run and then email it to me, I won't have to look at a picture. I won't have to add the log information myself. Uh, it really just saves a lot of time on my end, especially if I have guys at the track, you know, like, uh, for example, uh, Friday was uh, Man Cup uh, Dragway 42. Also had a couple customers out in Colonial Beach. Um, I had probably six to ten guys sending me logs and sending me um, messages and emails and all kinds of stuff. So if you guys can put in your log information and send it to me, it really saves time on my end um, and time on getting back to you. Uh, so usually I can get back to you quicker if I don't have to ask you several questions about getting a time slip and having you uh, send it and things like that. So to add the information to your data log, click log info at the top here. And you can put in driver, car, weight, track, um, time, everything like that. You can put in some comments on here what you think the the bike did um re left real lazy out of the hole or just stopped pulling at the end you know whatever comments you want to make in here and then you can put in your incrementals you can put in what lane you were in you can put in your reaction time your 60 foot 330 uh, eighth mile and speed over here thousand quarter mile and speed over here also and then it also calculates the split uh, automatically too, which is very nice. And you can also put in the weather here also. Track temp, um, temperature, humidity, barometric pressure, all kinds of stuff. And it will save it in here. Um, after you do that, you want to click save as, and then you can save it as a file. Um, and then sending the log by email as you should know already, or if you don't, you can send log directly from the fuel tech. Send log by email. Little box will pop up. Put in your email, put in my email, put in a little message like run one, run two, run three, uh, Q1, E1, whatever you wanna put in there what the bike's doing, if it didn't shift, you know, so forth. And then you need to click this check mark box down here and click send. Once you do that, a little capsule will pop up to um, show that you aren't a robot. So you have to put in whatever numbers or letters it says and then click OK or send or whatever it has on there. So I'll cancel out of this. Um, you can also look at your incrementals on the side here. You can look at the weather session your session you can see what version software you're on which is very nice uh, i use that a lot and you can also check your status events your status events will show things like crank trigger issues or o2 nano communication issues something like that so that was a quick overview of the data log and how to add the information into it uh, for easier access um, 
it's very useful to just save that information in there. You don't have to save your time slips. Usually if you have your laptop with you, you know, through the week or in the house or whatever, looking at data logs, uh, you probably won't have your time slips with you unless you pull them out of the trailer or whatever. So, um, hope this helps. Thanks.